Blue reading books, turn to page 54. This is what page 54 looks like. I'm in the 1.4 book, okay? That's the only book we'll be using now. So your 1.3, you can put away, okay? I have this big picture of all these animals in a classroom, okay? So find that page, page five, four in your blue reading book. Let me see, do I have any friends ready? Gavin, you have your book already ready? Awesome, hey Gavin, then tell us how you're doing today. Can I tell you something? Sure. We have wiggly teeth. Oh boy, wiggly teeth. First graders, who else has wiggly teeth right now, like Gavin? Oh my goodness. Not many right now. Okay, cool, Gavin. Well, let us know when you lose it. All right, first graders, let's get our books ready to go. <clears throat> Let me show you a little more of my page. If you for some reason don't have it, then you're looking at mine. It's not as good as the real thing, but it'll have to do. Okay, boys and girls, I'm gonna point some things out in my picture here. I want you to look <clears throat> at these two animals here that are painting. Who can tell me what they are painting? What is this place that they are painting called? Over here. Might be kind of hard to see on my screen. What is this place called that they're painting? What do we call that, Carrington? The beach. A beach. First graders, I'm going to switch you back to my face. I'm gonna get my arm ready over here. We're going to segment and blend the word beach. Okay, here we go. Get it out. Starting with the beginning sound. Here we go. B each beach. Show me on your fingers how many sounds we heard. B each. Show me on your fingers how many sounds? Three. Good job. Our beginning sound, b. Our middle sound, e. And our end sound, ch. Very good. Makes the word beach, okay? Now let's see if you can um, find my pattern today. What about this guy over here? What is he doing? What is he doing? We're gonna be listening and seeing if there's a same sound between beach and what this guy is doing here. James, what is he doing? Read it. He is reading. Ooh, okay, back to me. Let's get our arms. We're gonna use the word read. Here we go. Er, eed, read. Awesome job, Annabelle. Boys and girls, how many sounds did you hear in er, eed? Show me on your fingers. Good, Mika. Three. We heard three sounds as well. Did you hear any sound that was the same in the word beach and in the word read? Some people are nodding their head. Maybe some people need one more to see if they can find my, my pattern. Okay. Out here, boys and girls, there are some animals. Looks like they're playing football. They are a team. Ooh, segment and blend team with me. Okay, here we go. Team, team. How many sounds? <clears throat> Good, Vincent. Team, team. We have three sounds. Okay. Now, who caught my pattern? We had the word beach, read, and team. What sound was the same in all of those words? Haley? It had the E. Good job. It had that long E. Everybody say that long E sound with me. E. Very good. Okay, here's what I'm going to show you now is <clears throat> we talked about long E before. However, we have a new vowel pair. Last week, we learned this vowel pair, A-I, and it made an a sound, it made a long A sound. This week, we're gonna talk about a long E sound. So two vowels are walking still, but the first one does the talking. Remember, can you say that one with me? When two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So if we were to write that word of that elephant, he was reading, our word here is, R eed. Do that with me. R eed. Read. Good. Now here's the catch. 
this EA can be tricky because while a lot of the time it does make the E sound, it actually makes a different sound. Okay, can we do one big huff for English being weird? <sighs> English is weird. Our EA can make two different sounds. I'll show you the other sound it can make. This is a part of our body. It's at the very top of our body. Who can tell me this body part? Body part is at the very top of your body. Let's see, what am I holding in my hands right now? Kayla, what do I call this part of my body? This big old thing. Go ahead, Kayla. Head. My head, good. I have a head, you have a head. Thank goodness we all have heads. Okay, so our EA also makes a short E sound. <sighs> English is weird. <sighs> Ed, head. So we can have a long E like read or we can have a short E, like head, okay? Okay, but here's what we're gonna mostly focus on, boys and girls. We're gonna mostly focus on that long E sound, okay? So keep that long E sound in your brain, but definitely tuck that short E in the back. All right, back to my reading book, and you are too. Go ahead and turn one page. We're going to practice. I'm looking at Page 56, I want the picture of the easel and the picture of the bread. Okay. When I look at these two words, okay, when I say easel, you say easel, easel, easel. That easel has the E-A sounding like E. Yes, Jax, love it. Okay, now what's this here? Eliana, what's this here? Eliana, what's this here? Bread. 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 Good. And bread, we see the E-A too. But now it's making that short E sound. Segment, blend it with me. Bread. Bread. Okay, good stuff. So on this page, it's going to mix it up. So we're just going to have to figure it out. Let's try to use that long E sound most of the time, and we might have to switch it if it doesn't sound right. Okay, starting at the first word, your finger, your reading finger is ready. Wiggle it in your camera so that I can see it's there. And that I hear your voice, that I, I know you hear my voice. Good, there's Kieran's reading finger. Oh, there's Haley's. Ah, Annabelle, yours is looking good today. James, where's yours? Did it fall off? James, where's your reading finger? Oh, there it is. Okay, first graders, let's do it. Look at EAs on the same tile because they're making one sound together. E, here we go. Eat, blend it. What do you think, Kaylee? What's our first word? Eat. Eat. Eat, good, I'm gonna eat some breakfast today. Thanks, Haley. way to be ready. Okay, the next one is our word we just segmented and blended this one together. Here we go. Brr, eed, breed. Do you think this word is breed? Gavin's shaking his head and laughing at me. Carrington's shaking her head at me like I'm wacko. Okay, let's try that short E sound then. Let's try the E, uh. here we go. Brr, ed. Now, give me a big head nod if that sounds better to you. Haley says, oh yes, oh yes, Gavin, thank you. Good, Vincent. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's stick with that long E sound. Here we go. T, E, ch. Hmm, blend that one up. Maybe Vincent can help us with that one. T, E, ch. What word do you get when you blend that up, Vincent? T. Teach, very good. I love to teach T each. Nice job. Okay, let's go to the next one, starting with a B. I have some awesome workers today. Miss Mika, I hope you're with me. Here we go, starting with B. B. Eed. Hmm. B. Eed. Carrington, can you blend it up for us? That one's a tricky one with the S at the end. B. Eeds. Beads. Beads. Very good. This is the word beads. All right. And then last one, boys and girls. 
Here we go. Eed. Heed. Jax, what do you think? Is that word heed? Um, yeah. D what is a heed, Jax? Can you tell me what that is? It means it's a boy. Oh, that's just the word he. Eed. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you think heed is the right word. Give me a thumbs down if you think we need to try our other sound, our short E sound. Ooh, okay, I see a few thumbs up, but I see a lot of thumbs down. So let's try it again. Here we go, starting with the H, but we're gonna use that eh sound. Here we go. Ed. Head. Oh. Jax, can you tell me what a head is? He's patting his head. Good. Yes, this word is head. Good job, first graders. So like I said, we can use the long E sound like eat, or we can use the short E sound like in head. A lot of the time we're going to focus on that long E this week, but you got to know this EA can also make that short E sound. Okay. All right. Let's do one. Hmm. Let's do sent. We're going to do one sentence at the bottom here, first graders, before we finish up. Okay. I want to do sentence. We're going to do sentence number two. Okay. So sentence number two at the bottom of your page, starting with can, you're going to whisper read that to yourself over and over until I say stop. Sentence number two, make sure you're writing, reading the same set, the right sentence. Three, two, one, and done. Okay, let's go slow first, okay? We just wanna make sure we have all the words right first. Then the second time we read, we're gonna go for fluency, sounding smooth. Okay, so sentence number two. First word, read aloud with me, but do not unmute your microphone, please. Here we go. Can, can, she, woo, t, each, teach okay so can she teach me to oh i see a three letter blend str stir and then ing oh a first grader has to help me with this one come on boys and girls i have a blend and my ing and about what word does that make if i have stir and ing String. Yes, good. Can she teach me to string? Ooh, b, eeds, beads, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mika, are you raising your hand because you want to tell me that word? Okay, all right, let's read it now for fluency first graders. We got the words down. Now we're going to read it smoothly. Thumbs up if you're ready. You're still with me here. We're almost finished, first graders. You're doing great. All right, here we go, James. Everybody together. Can she teach me to string beads? Good. Would anyone like to read that fluently for us? Give it a go, Haley. Can she? Teach me to string beats. Very good. I have a virtual high five for you, Haley. Boop. Good job. Go for it, Gavin. Can she teach me to string beats? Awesome, Gavin. High five for you too, sir. Boop. All right, first graders. Good work. All right, I'm going to stop there for today with our books. You guys are doing awesome.